Okay, so let's see here. Vogue apologizes for Kendall Jenner's Afro shoot. Another video from the Rebel Media. Let's see what's going on here. Vogue magazine was forced to apologize for what people called a racist Kendall Jenner photo shoot. No, they weren't. Vogue magazine was not forced to apologize. Nobody took him out behind the woodshed, gave him a big, da big bad beatdown, and nobody held a gun to their head. They got a little bit of heat on social media, and then they kowtowed to it. Now, let's be clear. That's what happened. They were not forced to apologize. They could have told those people to go fuck themselves. <laughs> Neo-Edwardian look. I mean, just... Neo-Edwardian look. Instead of an afro, it's Neo-Edwardian. I actually agree with that. I, I think, you know, you look at this outfit, and obviously there's a little bit more uh, cleavage and whatever showing than you'd get in the Edwardian period. But when I see this, I'm not seeing an afro. I'm seeing a freaking crazy, tousled hairstyle. That's it. And let's say it is an afro big freaking deal you know what nobody says there's a law against being able to tease out your hair like freaking crazy just look at that high collar the shoulders and sleeves and the earrings the hair reminded me of a victorian bouffant but with a modern messy twist but the internet was outraged they claim outraged i tell you there was so much rage it even went outside and it was an afro they said, why didn't you get someone with an actual afro and freckles to model for you instead? Because they wanted Kendall Jenner. Because she's a big time name. And as much as I don't give a crap about any of the Jenners, you know what? They're going to draw readers. They're going to draw buyers. So that's why they get Kendall Jenner. And again, I agree with Martina here. I don't think this is an afro. I think that is far too unkempt around the edges to be an afro. That is not uh, Foxy Brown. Another social media user wrote, if you all wanted a model that didn't look white, you all could have booked a girl of color. Okay, if you all wanted a model that didn't look white, you all could have booked a woman of color. So you can only have an afro if you're a woman of color. And I'd like to point out that Kendall Jenner is a woman of color. You know how we can tell? Because here's white. See where my mouse is? Look at all this white. And oh my goodness, look at that. We can tell a difference in the color. It There's white. There's not white. So, Kendall Jenner, congratulations. You are a person of color. They stay trying to turn white women into black women. They rather pretend we don't exist than give us credit. They stay trying to turn white women into black women. They rather pretend we don't exist than give us credit. That is fantastic English. Well done. Well done. And they're not trying to turn white women into black women. I don't see blackface on this woman here. I don't see copious amounts of spray tan. It's not like Tan Mom is in this Vogue magazine shoot. So it's not uh, Rachel Dolezal in there. Okay, this is Kendall Jenner. They're not trying to turn anyone into a black woman. Ugh. Another user said, we used to have our hair burned in chemicals because society taught us that Whoa, we... whoa, 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 whoa. We used to have our hair burned in chemicals uh, because society. So that doesn't make sense. So again, fantastic use of the language. But we used to have our hair burned in chemicals. So what? They just held you down while they burned your hair and threw chemicals all over you? I don't think so. I don't think that's quite how it went. I mean, maybe that's how it went back in the days of slavery, but even then, I don't think so because they probably wouldn't have wanted to just waste money buying chemicals and setting people's hair on fire. It would have been just frivolous use of money and they had slaves so they could make money. Not that I'm condoning slavery because I think it's horrible. But uh, that's just a ridiculous statement, a ridiculous statement, right? They copy our afros, our, oh, it's ours. It's a hairstyle that belongs to us. I wonder who has the patent on that. I should go to the patent office and find out who's got the, the patent on afros and then see if everybody out there that has an afro is paying money to the patent holder so that they can walk around with an afro. 
because obviously it's owned. It's owned by them or by someone, by someone or a group of people. Maybe it's a conglomerate of, of black people who own the Afro. So having said that, I wonder if Kendall Jenner then could lease the rights to use an Afro, if they would be willing to sell that to her. And then she could get like a little card. And if anybody tried to hassle her for cultural appropriation, she could pull out her little card and she could be like, oh, oh no, that's okay. Because you see, I've actually got the rights to lease it. I, I can wear this Afro until next Wednesday. After Wednesday, you can harangue me about it. But until Wednesday, it's all good. Uh, I'm cleared. Thanks. We were not beautiful with our Afros. Now they copy our Afros, but can't use actual black models with Afros. She looks dumb. Leave Afros for the beautiful black woman. No ugly black women are allowed to have an Afro. Okay, you got that, ugly black women? If you are black and ugly, no Afro for you. Only the beautiful ones. These comments are absolutely ridiculous and frankly, kind of racist. No, no, Martina. They are racist. They are racist. It's saying because you're not black, you can't have your hair a particular style. That's racist. I'm sorry. That's, it's a ridiculous, ridiculous statement. And it's racist. And they should be called out on it. And that's why Vogue, Vogue, you should have told them to go fuck themselves. Okay? And Vogue and magazine up, was moron. forced to respond and apologize. They said the image is meant to be an update of the romantic Edwardian Gibson girl hair, which suits the period feel of the bra collection, and also the big hair of the 60s and the early 70s, that puffed out, teased out look of those eras. We apologize if it came across differently than intended, and we certainly did not mean to offend anyone by it. Who cares if you offended somebody by it? No matter what you do, somebody is going to be offended by it. So basically, you just tell them to get stuffed. See, I knew it. That is exactly what I saw in this image. I saw a modern twist to an Edwardian look. It yeah, anyways, I'm not going to play the rest of the video. Suffice it to say, it, it makes me sick when these companies and these groups like Vogue apologize to this, uh, to this offense and the indignation that these groups have, no matter who it is, okay? It's like the, the Kleenex thing that just came down about, oh, the man-sized Kleenex. And it's like, whoa, we're going to change it from man size now to extra large. It's like, you know what? Shut up. If these are the biggest things you're worried about in your life, your life is going pretty freaking easy. Go find a real problem, okay? Go find a real problem to solve. Go over to South Africa and help the people that are getting killed and driven off their farms. I'm sure they'd love to have an extra hand there to defend against the people that are coming in shooting and raping them. Hey, just shut your frickin' pie hole. People like this, all these whiners, complainers, they make me sick.